Hey everyone, this is Tom Hazard from Feed Your Brand and Podatize, and I am here to share with you the unboxing of another microphone. This time it's the Heil PR40 microphone, which is really, uh, I would say, the highest end of the microphones, uh, certainly the most expensive of all the microphones that we are testing and reviewing and creating uh, comparison audio videos for you to listen to to make a decision on what microphone you buy. So. Here we go, I'm just gonna open it up for the first time with you and share that with you. Okay. It has um, an instruction, instruction sheet. Uh, looks like, actually not really an instruction sheet, just a little uh, information. And then some optional accessories of a boom mount, a tabletop mount, um, a handheld mount, uh, also a shock mount, which I didn't buy any of those accessories uh, for this test. I am just testing the microphone itself. It comes in a very nice carrying case. So I think it's important to note that, that you don't get that necessarily with every microphone out there. And when you open it up, it has uh, the microphone, and it has um, a mount for a boom. Uh, so it does come with a mount, uh, a mount for your boom, uh, which looks like a, wow, a really solid mount. The inside of the case is very thick, heavy foam. You're, you definitely, if you wanna travel with this microphone, put it in this case, it'll be very well protected. Uh, the boom mount is just a, you know, a standard, solid i would call it boom mount where it, it's not a, a shock mount at all um which obviously you know you may want a shock mount if you're going to leave it permanently attached and uh, <clears throat> we have the microphone itself with um let's see and uh, they have, a, interestingly, a little warning here letting you know that this microphone is what they call an end fire microphone, meaning that you're supposed to speak into the end of it, not into the sides. They do have that nice, you know, stainless steel mesh on the sides, but they're telling you, hey, uh, don't, don't, don't speak into it like this. You want to speak into it like this. You want to speak right into the end and not into the sides. Now, the other thing I'm hoping I'm going to find in here is a cable. No. Isn't that interesting? So the Heil P40 does not come with an XLR cable or with uh, a USB adapter. That is interesting. I'm, uh, well, fortunately, I have a lot of XLR cables which are these with the sort of three prongs. And I also have adapters to plug it in uh, to USB to my computer. So I'm gonna first go through the process of attaching this microphone to the boom mount so you can see that. Uh, and then I'm also going to um, you know, do some recording tests. And on this one, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do, uh, obviously it has an XLR cable and I have an interface to bring it in USB to the computer. So I will do a two test audios for this one. One uh, recorded through USB to my computer using uh, the same tool I've been using for all the tests in this series, which is Zoom. And then I'm also gonna record it, uh, do the same test recording, not through the computer, to a digital audio recorder that I have, um, that I will connect you know, directly through to the microphone. So you'll hear how it sounds in both conditions, one connecting USB to the computer and one connecting offline uh, to a, um, you know, like a mixing board system to a digital audio recorder. All right, so I'm gonna do that boom mount right now. Okay, so I'm first going to remove my shock mount from my boom. Because uh, I have more of what's a universal shock mount up here. Um, and I am going to use Heil's actual boom mount. And just like any boom mount that I've encountered that comes with a microphone, it has the right threaded adapter. 
to go onto the boom mount. Now, some some boom mounts have a larger thread, and they have an adapter you can remove, so that uh, you can uh, use the larger thread. So now I'm going to put the microphone into the boom mount. I've got to loosen up the um, tightening knob just a little bit and then I'm going to connect it to my let's go see what direction we're going here we go and then I'm going to connect it to the XLR cable and then I'm going to do some testing recording testing on that microphone next so um, I'll say that Attaching it to my boom mount, pretty straightforward. Uh, personally, if I were going to use this microphone long term, I would get a, uh, I would get the appropriate shock mount for it. Uh, the weight of this microphone, I think, is very normal and uh, comparable to other microphones. Not too heavy, not too light, um, and you know, it's pretty simple. There is no. Uh, important to note that there is no headphone jack on this mic to plug in this mic. Definitely, it's an XLR mic and it's meant to be used through some other interface to a computer uh, or other interface where you would have a headphone to for feedback to hear yourself or hear your guest if you are um, if you are using it uh, to interview over a computer and no, no knob for adjustment, just one connector, XLR connector, that's it. For this type of microphone, or if you ever want to connect more than one microphone to a computer, uh, then you will need some sort of an interface that an XLR cable can plug into and then converts to USB. And uh, I have one that I recommend for that, that I've come to use recently for some of our clients who have that situation, either they're plugging two or three microphones into one computer. And of course you can't do that with USB because USB uh, limits any computer, even if you have more than one USB port, it will only recognize one microphone input coming into that computer. It will ignore any others you plug into it at the same time. So you have to plug multiple microphones into another interface to connect to your computer. And I recommend the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8 if you need to plug up to three microphones into the computer. They have another device, another Scarlett series that has even more ports. If you need to plug more than three, then you need to get a, another device. Now, I've got a whole separate video, not, a, not only on unboxing, but on using the Scarlett uh, 18i8. So check that out if you have that need. Obviously, you can also use a larger mixing board. I, I have a mixing board with like 14 inputs, you know, that I... Uh, I've been doing this for a long time, and it's kind of an old school piece of equipment, uh, very high quality piece of equipment, but also complicated to use. That's what I like about the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8 is it's really fairly easy to use, configure it once, and then it's plug and play every time. So, okay, so that's going to be it for this unboxing video. Um, you don't forget to go to the blog post on feedyourbrand.co for all these microphone reviews where you'll be able to hear side by side the audio of me testing this Heil PR40 Pro Series microphone and listen to the other microphones side by side. So you can make a better decision as to which microphone you would like to purchase for your podcasting or other recording needs.